Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD supervised video. So we are doing, uh, we are on version 12.3.4, we just got it today. Uh, along with that, we get a little bit of updates around the cold weather and estimates for the battery. A reminder to plug in at home. I haven't really heard about these much, uh, but there you go, there's the notes if you're interested in looking at that. Um, so yeah, it's 12.3.4. Uh, Navigation data, we are on 2023.44, 14, 8, 28. So there we go. Um, I am on autopilot assertive or supervised profile assertive. Um, we'll engage over here. And this is my first impressions. Um, I haven't driven with this version yet. So I just got it today in the morning, as I said. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right off the bat on this turn, it kind of tends to drive a little bit on the slow side. Uh, but it seems to be a little bit faster than the normal. Let's see how it does over here. So yeah, most of my issues with FSD, and I'll kind of like bring up a few, few of the points as we're driving here. One of them is this, like a very slow right turns. Uh, it tends to do rather different than how version 11 used to uh, take on these uh, these turns a little bit more in a faster t uh, fashion I guess um, the other one is on intersections and we'll see one when we come by nearby it kind of stops very early on before it actually hits the gets close to the traffic uh, intersection or the line or the stop line whatever you want to call it uh, or if there's cars in that case, uh, it'll slow down a lot and then starts creeping forward to those cars. Um, driving over a pothole over there. Let's see if it slows down for this 30 kilometer speed zone. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to disengage. Uh, going over 30 kilometer speed zone on the, on the playground area. And that's our first disengagement. It tends to, once you disengage and then you engage again, it doesn't tend to drive that fast anymore. Um, so that's how I re-engage it back. So at least we've got that kind of like a improvement, I guess. It's still not there with uh, school zones and playground zones. You got to be very careful with those, uh, otherwise you'll get a ticket. We're hitting the 50 sc speed uh, kilometer speed limit, but it doesn't really accelerate that much. Yeah, so speed management still needs a lot of work. Um, it's definitely better than version 11. I, I kind of monitor the, the whole automatic speed adjustment thing that came with version 12 and I've driven it in so many different scenarios and, uh, for the most part it does well. It's just, um, it needs a little bit more improvements, especially in residential areas. In some places it does actually tend to slow down in, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, when you're in like tight streets and things like that. So where naturally you have to be slowing down, but in other places it doesn't really pick the right speed and sometimes it overspeeds. So uh, I think we still have that issue and we'll monitor it as we, as we drive along. So I'll speed you up over here through this traffic light and you can see that slowness as it's coming to a stop. It's very slow. It doesn't really reach the behind the bus uh, fast enough. Like it, that, 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 that behavior is not very comfortable, especially if you're someone who's driving behind me or next to me. It's not something very, um, very human-like to see. It's definitely ears on the robotic kind of side of things. Okay, so we're coming up to a merge over here. Uh, you can see the merge sign coming up on the right-hand side over here. It tends to sometimes stop over here did pretty good at this uh, in this situation maybe because we've got a, a lead vehicle in front of us here nicely takes the uh, left indicator and cutting across to the second lane and yeah another lane across that's very good that's actually very very well done uh, sometimes it tends to leave those uh, lane changes to the last minute We get a lot of indecisiveness when it comes to the two left turning lanes over here, like we're seeing right in front of us. So this time it's actually pretty much head on on one of the lanes. I, I really like that. Hopefully that's an improvement that we're going to see over over and over again and not just one an, a one off. All right, so it should come to a stop here. There we go.
All right, so it's our turn coming up over here. The other thing that we saw with 12.3.1, uh, more than 12.3.3, is the slowness on advanced greens. And uh, let's hope that's resolved. No, it doesn't seem like it. So I'm going to press the accelerator here just because there's a car behind me. And yeah, just a tap on the accelerator and you get that hesitation. It kind of breaks and, and goes, accelerates and breaks, accelerates and breaks. And here you can see there's no cops around me. So, but I'll just showcase this. Yeah, it's a little bit too fast. Uh, it's a nice boost. Maybe just a little bit, a few kilometers less than what we wanted to see. But um, it, it's good. Like, it's really good. The car next to me uh, is now behind me. Uh, we kind of took over to the right lane just to make our way to the to the right right turn coming up over here. Very nicely done. I'm I'm ha I'm happy with with how it did that. But yeah, at the intersection there was hesitation at the advanced green, kept breaking and accelerating, breaking and accelerating. It didn't even commit, so I had to tap the accelerator there. Nice smooth merge over here and signaling to take this yield. We never used to get these. Uh, these nice driving habits in version 11 and we're coming up to a yield over here it's been a very good merge uh, it's a little bit uh, trying to get over that uh, pothole over there on the right but uh, just barely avoided it but this is a good uh, merge into the street and very happy with this uh, we've, we've seen this behavior of 3.3 so this is nothing really new Yeah, we're getting that stall, that rubber banding when it's lane changing. So it's kind of turning left a little bit and then slowing down, going back to the right. And yeah, here's the harsh brake and we still have those. Everything fell down in the back. So yeah, um, I, I don't like those. So I kind of, I, I liked version 11 where it even went on and committed on a late yellow. To be honest, that's more of a natural way of driving, like like it is like you can you can really debate this thing. It's uh, it's it's a back and forth thing. Like obviously, when you see a yellow from far away, you gotta slow down and stop. But this is a little bit too late. If if yeah, it needs to be relaxed a little bit. We need to find a middle ground between version eleven and version twelve. Version twelve is a little bit too excessive, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below if you've experienced this or. Um, if you find this, uh, you know, if you find my comment uh, right or wrong, uh, I'm really interested to know other people's opinions about this. A green light and a nice commit. Very good acceleration. We've got a construction zone coming up ahead of us. Let's see how it's going to deal with that. Ah, seems to be clear, so it wouldn't be an issue. It's only if we're going left over here. Again, the slow down to the intersection stop. I really don't like that behavior. Nice boost acceleration here to take us off from the intersection. I'm going to change lanes. Very nicely done. Because we are routed to enter a parking lot nearby. And we'll test the parking capabilities and see if there's anything new there too should be indicating over here here we go a little bit late on the signaling let's see if it's gonna make its way in into the parking lot here nicely done yeah we are kind of if you look at the map it's a little bit on the early side here it should have went straight ahead and uh looped around let's see how it's going to do this uh yeah the jerkiness and uh in the parking lots are also not gone yet so you can see the steering wheels jerking um it's very annoying at very low speeds but this is nice this is it's routing right to the parking lot where i, I routed it to if you can see here i've routed it right there so it should have taken that second second entrance there it's slowing down to a stop here yeah, I think it's just calling it here.
Is it? No, it's going to take off now. It's like, yeah, you don't like this place, so maybe I'll take you to another another area. I was really hoping that it's going to park right here. Ah, well, okay. Well, if you folks like this video, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. Help me a lot. I did get a new mic. I'm very excited about using it. Uh, this is the first time I use it. So let me know how my audio sounds. If I need to do any tweaking, I can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, hope you folks like this video. And I really appreciate all the support and all the views that you guys have been watching. And if you are looking at buying a Tesla, please don't forget to use my referral link at the description down below. And at the video, I'll post it right at the bottom. Um, hope you folks have a, like, have a good one. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.